Hello and welcome everyone. I am Pisces Intuition here with a pick a card. Um, this is going to be about who's watching me or well rather who's watching you actually. But you know you ever get that feeling like maybe you're single, you feel like somebody's watching you or you're interested in someone, you know, do I have a secret admirer? You know, whatever the case is, it's one of those um, you're asking yourself, you know, like, is anybody watching me? Is anybody coming towards me? Anything like that. So I have three different decks here. The first one, um, pile number one, is with the purple amethyst. The second one is with the clear quartz. Uh, pile number three is with the um, rose quartz. So if you can see that. Scoot those over for you. So go ahead, pause the video, do what you need to do. Um, just pick the pile that you are really just kind of vibing with. That's really kind of drawing you and calling you in. And then we will get started. All right, so if you chose pile number one, then this is your reading. All right. So pile number one, we do have a collection of uh, tarot as well as oracle. So let's go ahead and let's look at the tarot. And then we will get into the oracle. All right. All right, so to start the reading off, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Strength card, a number eight, and then we have um, the Hermit card here. Hmm. All right, so this this person that's kind of watching you, wanting to approach you, um, could be someone you work with. They definitely are kind of like restraining themselves. Um, either they haven't expressed their, I don't think they've expressed their feelings at all, actually. And it could be due to, I'm kind of getting that some of you have, um, if he shows this pile, some of you have <laughs> recently either gone through a breakup or are in separation, or just going through a really tough time in a relationship, or maybe even you've even like spoken the words, you know, I don't even want to date for a while, or something like that. And so it's really kind of put, you know, this person like, you know, they're listening because they're close enough to hear this. They're close enough to be able to see this, to monitor this. And so they're like, you know, it kind of puts them at a standstill. Almost like, oh, okay. It's almost, it just feels like a timing issue. Like maybe now's not the right time. I, I keep getting someone that you know, either you work with, you go to school with, um, but yeah, but definitely someone like someone that you are um, around quite often. Hmm. This person could be very quiet. Um, you know, pretty hard worker, very focused on work. Like you give them a task, they'll, you know, definitely, um, get to it. They'll put all their focus in on it. Um, the person could be a Leo, um, or it could be a Virgo. Hmm. But I'm just, I'm getting very, um, like I said, a lot of self-restraint, like they have not approached you. It's like this person has really kind of been a secret admirer for quite some time. Um, not like in a creepy way, just like, it's like, it just feels like a timing issue to me. It really does. Um, then we also have self-indulgence. This is focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So yeah, so this could be you. Like I said, you could be going through a pretty tough time right now. And maybe that's why it's causing this person to kind of keep their distance. Like, okay, I can't approach you know him or her yet because it just doesn't feel like the right time. They're really kind of going through some stuff right now. Maybe you're having some financial issues. Like I said, I'm picking up for um, some of you guys out there. You just you know ended a relationship. You know, something along those lines, like I said, just kind of, you're going through some stuff. And so this person is just kind of like, you know, biding their time, just, you know, kind of just patiently waiting. You know, it's like, they, like I said, I keep getting this tremendous amount of like self-restraint. Like you wouldn't have even guessed. And when they do approach you, it's going to be kind of a shocker. Like, wow, you know, you, you know, you want to date me or, you know, like, 
I didn't even know you liked me or, you know, um, but yeah, you know, I don't even see this person as really kind of flirting with you or anything. That's why it's going to be kind of a shocker when this person does approach you. Um, but again, you could be, you know, and this person could be kind of, you know, with the hermit card, cause I keep getting some kind of healing, you know, the hermit card, it's like you're keeping people off at a distance and this person, um, could even be kind of a loner. So, you know, either way, like I said, um, but yeah, but it's like, you know, you are kind of just doing some time to heal, just kind of focusing on yourself, not so much on a relationship. Like I said, uh, I keep hearing for somebody saying out there, like, I don't even want to think about dating right now. And I think that's just because you either ended a relationship or it's just like, you know, you've got so much else going on right now. And so this person, you know, like I said, that just kind of like keeps them think, you know, thinking to themselves like, oh, maybe it's not the right time then. <laughs> Um, again, this person, like I said, just could be kind of used to kind of doing things on their own, um, you know, pretty independent. Um, and then we do have angel of love. So this person could be very helpful. This person could actually, you know, help you as far as like the healing process goes, um, you know, just in order to kind of rely on this person, you know, rely on this person's strength in order to kind of get you through hard times when, you know, it just feels like you're doing this alone or, you know, something this could, you know, this person could really just kind of be, um, you know, a friend actually this person, you know, like I said, could be someone you work with could be, um, you know, a friend, you know, someone that you, you don't expect, um, like I said, it's going to be quite a surprise, quite a shocker that, you know, this person has feelings for you because they've never talked to you about them. They've never really approached you about them. And like I said, it just kind of feels like um, it's because of a timing issue. And then we do have no need to worry. So, you know, that could be, um, you know, for some of you, you know, it's, like I said, not getting any creepy vibes, nothing like that. This person does feel, you know, very wholehearted, like they, um, you know, they are coming from a good place. You know, they are, you know, really interested in you. You know, they are interested in making sure you are healing. Um, you know, they are a very loving person, very thoughtful person. Um, and then also we have... Be willing to express love, express love to receive love. So again, right now you could just be putting people off, you know, keep kind of keeping them at a distance. Like, you know, maybe you don't want a relationship right now. Cause like I said, I keep picking up for some of you, you've just ended a relationship. You're really going through some hard times right now. Um, you know, perhaps the last relationship was really rough, you know, whatever the case is. Um, cause I keep getting different scenarios here. You know, you have to, you know, be willing to kind of express love in order to, for love to show up, you know, um, it's like what you put out there, you get back. And this person, like I said, it's like they're patiently just kind of waiting, kind of, like I said, just biding their time, um, really just waiting for, you know, that time to approach you when they see, okay, now I think it's a time, maybe I can help this person or, you know, cause they do, they feel very, um, very compassionate towards you. And like I said, with no need to worry here, you know, it's like this person is just someone you really can find yourself leaning on, someone who um, you really kind of trust, someone, like I said, who it just, it feels really good to be able to just talk to, kind of, you know, lay your feelings out there and, um, you know, just let them know like what's going on. And, you know, it just, it feels good. You know, it's like you don't have to worry when you're with this person. That's why it, like I said, it almost feels like a friend, a friendship type energy. So again, for some of you, this could be a friend that you just don't, no wants to take things to the next level. Um, you know, for, it could even be a coworker, you know, a combination of both. Perhaps you work with this person and you've always considered them a friend. Um, but definitely, or, you know, uh, this doesn't just have to be work. This can also be like school, um, you know, type of, a type of environment like that. Um, but definitely, yeah. So like I said, because it feels like this person's kind of been there with you through this stuff. They know what you're going through. And that's why they're just kind of like, you know, restraining themselves like, okay, it's not the time right now. You know, let me see that this person's in a better place. And then, you know, I can approach them. All right. <laughs> and for your heart, you do get secret admirer. Um, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So again, you know, this person could be, like I said, a friendship, um, you know, coworker combination of both. And, you know, even though they're trying to be nice or trying to, you know, kind of help you out, you know, they have more feelings for you than what they are truly letting on. So again, um, pile number one, secret admirer. So, all right. Well, pile number one, that was your reading. Now let's go ahead and go over to pile number two. All right, pile number two, if you chose the clear quartz crystal, then this is your reading. All right. All right. Okay. 
So pile number one, or I'm sorry, pile number two, um, starting with the tarot cards here, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Coins, and then we have the Magician. Um, for some of you, I'm getting, this person could be a little bit older, more experienced. Um, for some of you, I'm getting kind of maybe a boss or um, someone like at work or at school who has a little more um yeah, I keep getting like a boss energy or something. Or this person could just be, you know, very strongly independent too. Hmm. I'm getting that this person likes to read a lot. This person is very good with their finances. Um, this person really has a lot going for them. Hmm. Yeah, I keep getting, I don't know, for um, some of you, again, I keep getting this could be someone in like, um, again, I'm kind of getting like another work energy, um, school energy, like environment that you can know this person from. Hmm. Um, it does look like this person's kind of just been, it looks like, you know, you guys have like known each other for a while. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, I keep getting, this person could be very charismatic. Um, it's like this person is pretty stable though. I'm pretty slow moving. It's like they like to kind of, um, really look into what it is that they want before they pursue it. So it's kind of like they take their time when approaching or pursuing anything that they want. It's like they have to learn about it. They have to study about it. It's like they really sit back and, um, you know, think of like the bigger picture instead of just the here and now. Um, you know, they're not very impulsive is what I'm getting They're Like I said, very, very well thought out, very kind of um, planned out. Um, again, could be very responsible with money. I keep getting like, um, very charismatic. Also, I keep, I keep getting like a person in power. So, um, possibly, like I said, maybe a boss, maybe a teacher, um, you know, someone who's like a little bit older or maybe if not in like, um, like age wise, then, uh, more maturity. It's like this person, this person comes off very serious is what I keep getting here. Um, all right. Then we have the butterfly. So this is relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. All right. Hmm. So you could have, like I said, for some of you, you could have known this person for quite some time and they want to take things to the next level. Hmm. Then we have card number 30, the garden and the gate, perfect timing, and then slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. So you guys could be kind of opposites here, you know, like opposites attract, like you could be, um, kind of on the whim, very, um, how do I want to say this kind of, um, Oh gosh, I can't even think of the word here. Huh. Yeah, it just, it really feels like to me like you guys are kind of like opposites attract here. Um, because like the garden and the gate, somebody feels like, okay, because this specific card, um, you see her, you know, inside this beautiful little lush garden. She's got the key around her neck and, but you know, the gate is closed. You know, not knowing if she were to unlock this gate here, um, 
get a second, move it over for you. You know, if she would unlock the gate, there's this whole wide world, you know, where she could grow her garden, where she could, you know, explore the world. But she feels safe, you know, in this tiny little garden, you know, even though it is beautiful, even though it is, you know, a very lush garden, like I said, um, you know, there's still so much more that's out there that she's really not acknowledging. So for some of you, um, it could either be your energy or their energy. Uh, this person could kind of be like a homebody, kind of keeps to themselves. Again, this person feels very financially responsible. So I don't know. Um, this person could work in, um, maybe have something to do with banking, some kind of business. I keep getting someone in power. And I keep getting, like I said, opposites attract here. So where you you could be kind of um, impulsive or something, this person is quite the opposite. This person is, you know, I need to take my time. I need to really look into this situation, and then I'll make my decision. Um, yeah. Uh, perfect timing. It's like, you know, this is kind of a long time coming. For some reason, it's kind of like taking this person, like I said, a long time to approach you. And I think that just has to do with their nature, um, their nature, just feeling kind of safe, secure, you know, in their own little lush garden, you know, again, really needing to see the bigger picture, you know, wondering how should I go about this? Do I think this is going to work? Um, you know, just types like that. And so perfect timing, it's like they have to wait to the perfect timing in order to approach you. Um, you could be going through um, some kind of, you could be trying to get to the next phase in your life. Like uh, maybe you've really been kind of doing some self-improvement, kind of doing, um, you know, trying to, you know, work your way up as far as your job goes, your career goes. You could be studying to um, get some kind of degree or something to, again, to kind of improve, um, you know, money, to improve your career, um, whatever the case is. I do see some of you kind of being at school and trying to, like I said, kind of better yourselves, trying to, um, you know, take things to the next level, not just in a relationship, but in your own life. And so it's like this, you know, this person also knows this about you. So they're just kind of waiting, giving you, giving you your space, giving you your time until until they feel like, you know, um, they can take action because the time is perfect. Again, I keep getting that um, you guys are quite opposites. Like I said, you know, you guys could be very impulsive or something, but that's kind of what they're drawn to because they are so opposite. Um, but slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. So for some of you, um, you know, you could, you know, be wanting this to happen now. You know, this person could have been kind of flirty with you. Like I said, I keep getting that this person, um, you know, is very kind of, you know, even though they're, you know, pretty laid back, they're, you know, could be kind of, like I said, homebodies, um, you know, may not have a huge circle of friends, you know, things like that. They're still very charismatic when they do talk to people, when they are, you know, out and about. They're very charismatic. People are very drawn to them. You know, they do like them, um, you know, things like that. So it's almost just saying like, you know, you're, you guys could have flirted. Perhaps this person has already flirted with you. They just haven't fully approached you because I do keep getting that there has been some kind of flirtation or something here. And so you're, but you're at, like I said, you're the opposite of, you know, you want things now. It's like, you know, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this, you know, so either you're part of my plan and going with the flow or, you know, I'm not going to have time for you almost type thing. And what, you know, the universe, what spirit is trying to tell you is slow things down. Just slow down, take a breather, pause, let this unfold, let things come in and don't try to control a situation. Um, you know, impulse being impulsive, you know, that's fun that can, um, you know, definitely get you through some hard times and it's definitely called for sometimes, but other times you need to kind of slow down, you know, like your person, like this person here, who's watching you, um, who wants to approach you and just appreciate the things around you, appreciate the beauty around you, appreciate that, you know, um, timing is kind of a factor and all good things come in when they're supposed to. Now, for your little heart card, you do get freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want to be, if you want it to be. Yeah, and see, I keep getting, um, for some of you, especially now that this card came out, that makes sense. Because for some of you, it feels like you're kind of confined. Um, either confined due to work, confined due to, like I said, for some of you, it's like you're really kind of working on yourselves. Um, you know, again, possibly a lot of studying. Um, you're trying to get things, like I said, to kind of move to the next, you know, phase. Um, you could have had like a rough childhood, um, you know, something like that, or you could be a single parent and it's like, you know, you, you feel like you lack that freedom and it's like, because, you know, 
wor the world, you know, work, your life is just kind of go, 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 go. And so where it's saying, you know, just slow down, you know, you do have that freedom, you know, you just have to, you know, slow down and see it. You have to slow down and see that, you know, this is possible. A relationship is possible. You know, good things coming in for you is possible. Because like I said, it just kind of feels like, you know, um, you guys are really kind of putting in some work on yourself. And like I said, the person watching you that wants to come in, wants to approach you, they do feel like, you know, it could, I don't know if it's a boss. This could be someone, like I said, that you work with, like a boss, someone you, um, you could possibly go to school with this person as well. Um, like I said, for those of you who are kind of trying to earn a, earn a degree or something along those lines, again, trying to take things to the next phase, to the next level, you know, it could be someone, you know, again, um, you know, it could be someone like that. It could be someone who works in administration. <laughs> um, but yeah, but definitely, like I said, this person is interested, wanting to take things to the next level. Like I said, it's just, um, they have to do it on their own time and they see you being so busy. You know, they see you as kind of even being, you know, confined, like I said, um, go, 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 you know, type of person where it's just like, once you slow down, then they feel, you know, like it's time to kind of approach you like, okay, maybe now this person will acknowledge me. Maybe now we can actually go grab a cup of coffee and they're not, you know, they don't have, they're not focused on the million and one things that they have to do. So, you know, it's just, it's one of those types of situation, but it does feel like you do know this person. This person is, you know, again, kind of around you. So, um, not, you know, necessarily, like I said, um, like I said, this is just a very charismatic person. I'm not getting that, you know, you guys hang out or anything like that. Um, I'm just getting more along the lines of, you know, like I said, possibly co-worker. Although I'm seeing this person could be more of a boss if this is like a work environment thing. So, all right. Well, pile number two, that is what I have for you for the person approaching you. All right. So if you um, chose number three, let's go ahead and go over to number three. All right, if you chose pile number three, then this deck is for you. All right, we'll start with the tarot. All okay. right. All right. Okay. So as far as your tarot cards, um, you did get the five of cups, you got the hermit card, and then you got the king of pentacles. So pile number three, this could be someone from your past. This could be a, um, an ex relationship, something along those lines. Yeah, this definitely feels like a, a past relationship here. Um, we do have king, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. We also have indecision. We have there's something better. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Okay. So for some of you, um, like I said, I, I'm getting... Yeah, this is someone from your past. Um, I'm getting that this person, you guys had kind of a pretty big falling out. Um, there could have possibly been cheating. They could have, um, yeah, they could have been talking to people while they were in a relationship with you, um, possibly making you feel very insecure. Um... For some of you, this is kind of like a one night stand and then they just ghosted you. Um, it feels like you guys kind of talked for a while and then you finally like hooked up, you know, one night stand and then they just ghosted. Like leaving no answers, no nothing, just like, you know, ghost you and you are left in, as far as like the hermit card just kind of to go within. Um you know, kind of try to regroup and, you know, do some soul searching and just kind of figure out like, you know, what the heck. It's like you never got any answers, though. I'm getting a few different scenarios here, so just bear with me. Um, for others of you, again, you know, this was a person. It feels like they had other options. Like I said, they could have been talking to other people during your relationship. Um, you know, whether or not they physically cheated. 
you know, I don't know, but I mean, you know, a lot of people consider just talking to people, um, especially in certain mannerisms, you know, cheating. So again, take this how it resonates for you. Um, you know, this person, it could have felt like you were kind of used by this person because for the ending, it feels like there's a really bad ending. And again, like a lot of you were either just completely ghosted or, um, just not given any answers, just kind of left. Um, it does look like they had some kind of regret about this, you know, like once it kind of kicked in it really kind of, you know, caused them to kind of go within, do, you know, also do some soul searching, try to find their new path or figure out like, you know, what are they doing? Cause it doesn't feel like they knew what they were doing. It feels almost like they were kind of lost. Yeah. And with this indecision card here, um, this could have been them again, not wanting to give up their freedom, not wanting to commit to a relationship, but again, possibly saying to you at that time that they did, you know, therefore, you know, leading you on. Um, this could also, you know, when this person does, you know, like I said, this person still feels like they're watching you. They want to approach you. Um, so when they do, it could possibly leave you in a state of indecision as far as, you know, like kind of almost just like shook, like, why are you even back? Like, you know, why did, what happened the first time I got no answers from you and now you're back. So it's going to kind of leave you in a state of indecision. Like, what do I do? Do I want to hear this person out? Do I want to try to give this a second chance? Or do I just want to kick them to the curb and be like, no, you need to kick rocks and go on. Like, I've already moved on. You know, so again, I kind of feel like it's going to leave you in a little bit of state of indecision here. Um, now, with the card of there's something better, you know, perhaps this person is just kind of coming back in... Um, Okay, what I'm getting is a couple different scenarios here. This person could be coming in because um, they see you as being someone stable and they kind of need that in their life. It's almost like um, they see you as you could kind of take care of them. And that seems like very selfish, but I keep kind of getting that energy, especially it feels like how it went down. But they just kind of feel like you could... Um, almost like kind of comfort them or just take care of them. That could be financially too, I guess. Um, but it, it just kind of feels like they view you as being more stable. And so that's why they could be kind of, you know, trying to come in. And so we have, again, there's something better. It's just letting you know that, um, you know, this person isn't it. When they left you the first time, you realize that, that, you know what, they left for a reason. Now there's something better. I just need to move on and find it. You know, it really, it feels like this person really kind of caused you to do some soul searching to kind of, um, you know, again, just kind of, you know, go through that, really kind of figure out, you know, things about you, learn those kind of hard lessons, but yet grow from them. Uh, you really had to look to your inner strength. You know, you are stronger than you realize, which, you know, this person kind of puts you through it. And it makes you realize just how strong you are. You know, you made it through and then now they want to kind of come back and they want to, you know, act like, okay, well, I'm in a better place now. You know, I have these regrets. I'm sorry. Um, you know, can we try to make this work again? You know, and this decision is completely up to you. Um, for the little heart card we do have uh, deep in your heart you already know the answer so do what feels right so yeah as I was saying um, this is completely up to you this ball is completely in your court you know it you already know the answer you already know what feels right in your gut in your intuition you know your instincts what are they telling you do you want to give this person another chance or you know did this person put you through so much that you know that was their way of just you know that's how you grew as a person but now it's time to just close that door and just say no because like I said, it almost feels like for some of you, they're not coming back with your best intention at heart. They're coming back because it almost feels like this person doesn't have anywhere else to go. And that's what I keep getting here for some. Yeah. So it all, it's almost like, you know, if you do take this person back, are you risking, um, you know, the same behavior, you know, the same pattern? So again, this, this choice is definitely, um, you know, ball is in your court. You already know the answer. So definitely do what feels right to you. Um, you know, it, I, like I said, I do see you kind of being put in a little bit of an indecision here, or this could even be them on how do they want to approach you? Hmm. But definitely look to your inner strength. You know, you are stronger than you realize. And it just feels like because you've already survived this person, 
you know, once before. So it's like letting them back in again, you know, how is that going to be? Because like I said, them coming back does not feel like they have your best intention at heart. It just feels like they are still kind of looking out for them. And it just feels like, you know, they don't have um, either anywhere else to go, anyone else to rely on. They just see you as being more stable, someone who can kind of take care of them. So this is, again, for pile number three, um, you know, someone from your past. So, and that is just who is kind of watching you, um, you know, keeping an eye on you, you know. Hmm. I mean, they could, you know, for some very few, they could possibly be coming in with an apology. Hmm. I'm not getting that for very many but for definitely, and, but again, if they, if they come in to apologize, it still feels questionable to me. Like, um, are you really sorry? Or are you just saying that to get in my good graces, you know, to kind of put the wool over my eyes. So, you know, again, um, balls in your court, you know, do what feels right. Um, because you already know the answer. So, you know, more, impo most importantly, trust your intuition. So, all right. Well, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this pick a card. Um, I will talk to you guys again soon and have a great time.